Hello you guys, welcome to my channel and today let me show you how to replace this waybar link as you can see now first of course you have to jack this thing up and then since I'm only lift one side you need another jack right here to help uh, removing uh, this waybar link after we uh, un unscrew it but the first thing you need to do is I got this and this one was greaseable one so what you need to do is the first thing you need to do is put some grease, uh, grease on it first so you need to have a grease gun and give it a couple of pump and should be good let me see this on one two three give it one and that's it so you see see it it's a little swell that's good and do the same thing with the other side go ahead and clean this up Make it nice and neat. Uh, we do it with this side. Okay. One. Two. Three. A little more if you want. Okay, so that's it. Clean it up. As you can see, this one is swallowed here. Okay, so that's it's good enough. Uh, this one maybe I need a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and put in Okay, that should be enough. As you can see. This thing is already have grease in it, but not not that much. So uh, basically, you need to put a little bit more in there. So that's it. Now let's get back to the real work over here. So this is uh, the top bolt. Uh, so uh, you want to take this nut out. So this is a seventeen. And uh, what you want to do is, in the back, you might have uh, put a grip grip on it. Give me a second. Let me have something that you feel better. A little higher, so it's easy for you. So what do you want to do is, you want to have the vice grip in the back. back here there you go and now that one is a 17 so you want to do a 17 a 17 Don't take out all the way, just enough. As you can see, after I lose a little bit of it, you see the screw right here is kind of lean downward because uh, we have a lot of uh, pressure uh, that's going down. So in order to get that pressure loose so you can remove the bolt 
or the sway ball link you need to jack this up you need to jack this up right here I hope you can see it at the bottom right here hope you can see this part here this is right here you need to jack that up the more you jack it up the more it's balanced out and you can see this screw is start to line up So I'll go ahead and jack that up. Okay, as you can see right now, I was able to wiggle this and it should come out. So I'll go ahead and uh, take the whole nut out. So I got it out. You can see, now you can easily pull this off. Now, when you get to the bottom one, basically you're doing the same thing. Put a grip on it, and uh, and then we can do it. Let's see. Let me get this angle over here. Let's see. Right. So we do a 17 on the back. Same thing. Put a grip on it. There you go. On it. Okay. That's gonna be a little tough. Okay, let me get this straight.
as you can see, we got that out. Loose grip. Okay, then take that out. Let's see. As you can see, the old one boot is already torn. Same thing with this. As you can see, it's already torn. And this thing is already come loose. So the new one. New one. As you can see. Looking good. Since we already grease it. Go ahead and put it back in. So, the bottom one, then the top one, bottom, bottom, and then the top one. So, what do you want to do is, you want to tie the top one first. Not tied up, just uh, screwed in a little bit. A little bit. And now you want to tighten the bottom one in. Tighten the bottom one in. So you can see the bottom one in. Uh, so the bottom one is a. Uh, 18 or 19 the nut the nut itself is uh, 18 and then in the back is a 19 That's the 19, and let's see this one inside. Sorry if my arm's in the way. It's uh, not really a lot of space here. You got that in. Don't worry, we're gonna you know, torque it down. Uh, you just wanna torque it down to uh, 55 foot. Okay, let's go up to the top one. Top one, the same thing. Nineteen in the back. On the top. Is eighteen. Sorry if my hand is in the way. Okay. Okay, let's go and torque down this to um so let's torque down this to to 55 55 so let's do 55 on the bottom first and then we go up to the top so the bottom we're doing 55 okay let's talk down 
through 55. So 55. So that's 55. Let's go on the top. Top, let's do 55 too. There you go, 55. 55 on top. 55 on the bottom. 55 on the top. And then I got 55 on the bottom. So everything's good. Now, check everything is correct. Nice and tight. And basically you are done. Now all you need to do is lower, lower the jack on this side down and then uh, put a tire back in and then basically you are done and do a, go for a test drive and after the test drive um, check it again because there's some grease gonna spill out from the back uh, sometimes when you put a little bit too much in it it's gonna spill out so go ahead and clean that up and uh, basically you are done with uh, this job So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. And uh, yes, really, it's uh, really easy to install. So uh, I hope this video will help you out or maybe give you a little direction where you're supposed to do or supposed to go. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right. All right. Bye.